wanted to share this moment because I just got like incredibly overwhelmed with like love right now. Hi guys, I'm Carolina and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Dia de los Muertos altar, which I'm super excited about. I never really did altars growing up as a kid, but I did grow up having an altar in my house like year round. My mom has a statue of Jesus in her <laughs> bedroom with pictures of both of my relatives that have passed away. They have candles there lit literally all the time. So just a quick background on Day of the Dead. It was created by the Aztecs about 3000 years ago because they believed that we should not be grieving the passing of our ancestors or relatives, but we should be celebrating their life and what they were able to accomplish here on earth. And I relate to that a lot because I feel like in my family, whenever a family member passes away, we always tend to have a party where we all dress in white and we just talk about their life. We celebrate what they were able to do on this earth and I feel like that's very beautiful. It became kind of religious when the Spanish conquest happened. Uh, the Catholic leaders came and they kind of forced their influence into what the tradition and the holiday is now. Notice how I said forced. I'm gonna be doing an altar based on my relatives, my Abuichispas and my Abuichui, who I love, 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 love both of them so much. I was able to spend a couple of years with my Abuichispas. Unfortunately, I never got to meet my Abuichui, so I am excited to be making this so I can feel more connected to them and I just to feel their love with me constantly, which I do, I do, but this is just a little special something. So uh, let's get started. <laughs> I'm gonna combine two elements into one for this particular part of my altar that I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. So typically on a Day of the Dead altar, you put pictures of your relatives so they can come and visit you. So I printed out two pictures of uh, some relatives that I would hope that would visit me. I'm gonna start crying. So this is my grandfather, this is my grandpa Jesus, um, but we called him Chewy. And this is my other grandpa Jesus. Why do they all have the same name? And we called him Chispas. And I only got to know him for like a year and a half of my life. My grandma's still alive, but this is the only picture that I have of me with my grandpa. Another thing that I kind of wanted to combine with these picture frames is the way that people incorporate monarch butterflies into their altars. So according to NPR, monarch butterflies migrate to Mexico every fall. So it kind of is connected to the Day of the Dead because people believe that these spirits, these monarch butterflies are spirits of our ancestors that are coming to visit. So I've decided my DIY craft mind that is not the best at DIY crafts. Um, I'm gonna try and do with some puffy paint that I have just like laying around my house. I'm gonna try and draw some monarch butterflies. You know, I'll try to draw one up here, up here in the corners. My fun butterfly. She's not great, she's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. This is also just a reminder that I am not an arts and crafts major. I'm not very DIY handy, but you know, we're trying our best out here. So this is the little area that I'm gonna be doing my altar in. I have my candles, I have my scarf. And I have my marigolds there, ready to go. Yeah, so I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm doing and I'll explain every little thing. So I'm gonna be starting off with a box. I'm gonna use this box to represent two levels on my altar. Typically there are three levels, but I will be doing two. The top level is to represent heaven and then the middle one is to represent earth. I like to put a yellow tablecloth. Yellow in some cultures represents happiness and vitality. So I feel like it works really well in this altar. I also decided to use a crocheted mini tablecloth. I like to use this because I'm putting this on the top part of the altar where it's supposed to symbolize heaven. I'm using this to symbolize the clouds in heaven. I'm also gonna be adding a white candle. It represents fire. It is considered a, a light guiding the spirits back to the land of the living. I'm adding my religious necklace as the religious symbol on the altar. This is a necklace that my mom had given me that was given to her by my dad when I was born. And it comes with a little Virgen de Guadalupe. Next, I'm gonna be adding my skull. Typically, there's these with sugar skulls. Of course, my photos of my relatives that I decorated with monarch butterflies. I'm gonna be adding these jalapenos as a way to represent earth, but also both of my grandfathers, they like to plant and grow things on their ranches. So I'm also using the jalapenos as a way to represent that. Next, I'm gonna be making a cross out of salt and this is used to purify the souls. Next, we're gonna add some water to hydrate and quench the thirst of the souls because their journey is very long. Also some tequila to toast to their life and their arrival. Next, the food for my relatives. This was a little tricky because I don't really know much about him. 
So I decided to use one of the products that my dad sells in his business. I feel like he would like that a lot. For my Agua Cheese Bus, I decided to incorporate the smoked oysters since his oyster appetizer is a family favorite. Next is the marigold. So these are actually considered flowers of the dead and supposedly the smell of these flowers attracts the souls to the altar. In some cultures, some people combine marigolds with burning incense to draw in the souls more. And now I'm gonna be doing papel picado, which I completely forgot about. But this is supposed to represent air and the frailty of life. So the main things to remember for your altar is to have four elements, water, air, fire, and land. I turned the camera off, but I just got really emotional just seeing them here and just like having them here in the house. I just, I wanted to share this moment because I just got, like incredibly overwhelmed with like love right now. And I just, I just felt like they were here with me for like a couple of seconds and it felt really nice. Like this is like tears of like happiness because I feel that they're here right now. And I just, I'm just like so grateful. And I wish I could have spent more time with them when they were here, or I wish I could have met my, my Abu Chui, but you know, you have to be grateful for the time on earth that you have. I think the one thing that this whole thing makes me realize is that you have to tell the people that you love them when you're there there. You just make sure that every day counts. And especially with this pandemic going on, like taking care of yourself, making sure that your mind is okay, that your soul is okay, that whatever is hurting you, that you can find a way to let go of it. Be present in the moment and not letting little things hold you back Live every day like it's your last and like i hate to say that cliche but like it's true i just know that they're here with me always they're always here with me but i feel like right now especially like having these little things for them um it brings me a lot closer to them and i just i just felt very like <laughs> i felt very loving and i was like i want to share this moment and i want to say something about it that was nice it's a really nice moment Follow like.